Hello, welcome to this demo of the 5-Minute IDP. So when you want to build your own Internet Developer Platform, or IDP, you often need a lot of components. You need the cloud account where you want to provision your resources. You need access credentials for this cloud account. You need a platform orchestrator to actually orchestrate all of those resources when a developer is requesting them. And you need a portal to visualize what you have available inside your Internet Developer Platform. So at Humanitech, we thought this is actually a lot of stuff. If you only want to test out how an IDP could look like, maybe that should be simplified because yeah, otherwise there's a lot of effort just to test how this could work. So we created a little tutorial called the five minute IDP with the goal to set up an IDP in less than five minutes. So all you need is HumCDL, which is our CLI, Docker, a Humanitech organization, um, and then access in that side of Humanitech organization. So you create can create your free Humanitech organization here, but I've already created one for us. So I'm just copying this already. Um, as a first step, you need to log in with your CLI. So let's do this. And then we see we are logged in. And the second step, I need to expose my organization ID to the CLI. So, copy this here. And then we can already start with our toolbox and eventually click off the install. So the install takes two to three minutes and um, we can take a coffee or your be favorite beverage of choice. But in this, we will take this time to actually explain what is happening under the hood. So all of this code that is running here is open source. Um, there's a Docker container, which essentially includes all of the necessary bits from QCuttle to Helm to Kind, Terraform. So you don't have to install that locally on your machine. And then we can also look at what is happening in the install script. So the install script is provisioning your own local Kubernetes cluster using kind. Um, and then is then using the Humanitech agent. Let's jump to the Terraform bit to actually show where this is happening. And it's then using the Humanitech agent, which is usually used in enterprise environments where you have strict firewall requirements to connect your local Kubernetes kind cluster to the Humanitech orchestrator. Um, and then in addition, we provision Postgres and in-cluster Postgres using the Humanitech in-cluster resource pack. To expose your app, we also install an Ingress, uh, Nginx Ingress, so you can access your workload from your local machine. So you can see this provisioning already finished. So we can continue to the next step, which is the demo. As part of this, we are going to deploy our first workload using SCORE. It's a fairly simple Hello World workload, and it's using the sample app from the SCORE specification uh, repository. This takes again a bit of time. So the first time is spent provisioning, and then we pull until the ingress is ready and our application is actually available. We also see that there has been an app already registered in Humanitech. We have all of the necessary Humanitech resource definitions, and we can see that there is now a deployment was uh, done, and it's still unhealthy while the container is starting up. So now we can see the workload is available. Go onto this URL. You can also see it's a localhost URL, so it's only something I can access on my local machine. But we can see there is the workload running, and it's connected to Postgres 15.6. And we can also run QCuddle here to actually get the namespaces. Let's resize this terminal a bit. So you can see there's my pod, my workload, and also an in-cluster Postgres. So now this is the end of our little demo, so we can clean up, which is essentially removing all of the 
necessary resources from that humanitarian organization. So it's left clean. And it's also removing, destroying this local kind cluster. And with that, we are at the end of the demo. And I hope you enjoyed setting up your IDP in less than five minutes.